This is something that the school funds and does because we try to connect with the community. Everybody has different interests, obviously, so those were all of the groups that were available for people, and that was just like the sign up so you can go and sign up for it. Because we have a wide variety of people in our school, we have a wide variety of different groups that they can choose from. We have a lot of building groups like Baboli, which I lead, which is going to a rural part of Mozambique and we're building a community center. From fashion to sports to gardening. There was this new one that we were just implementing called Shizoro, where we're working with a local Mozambican fashion designer, where people can learn to turn their old jeans and whatnot into Kapolana clothing. And then we have a group that works with a local orphanage in Maputo as well. Community Connections has been with this school as long as I've been here, um, which is in second grade, nine years ago. We have a lot of um, expats in our school who are new to Mozambique and who have not seen it. And then we have people who actually are from Mozambique. So the point of Community Connections is to bring those people together and then bring those people together with the actual community. Miss Colleen, which is um, like our supervisor, like the person who helps us with organizing everything, she always talks about transactional, um, transactional bo uh, connections. Mm -hmm. It's not us just giving, but we also receive. So we can receive knowledge or expand our horizons and make it more, not only about giving, but also learning and making us more aware. From what we've experienced, at least for me, in the past few years, Community Connections was something that everybody got excited about. It's something that everybody looked forward to doing because it was, it was something that you don't usually do. Like, it pushes you to go outside of your comfort zone. You talk to people you don't usually talk to, you do things you don't usually do. And for a lot of people, that's really, really exciting. We've had had groups like fail and we've had to discontinue, but that's all of a learning experience and a learning curve, you know? Like somebody who's, who, was, who led a group that, that failed now understands how difficult it is to be a leader and so next time they'll try a different way or they'll, they'll do something differently, you know? So it's always been a success even if sometimes the groups don't actually work out. I'm Sebastian, I'm in grade 11 at the American International School of Mozambique. My name is Camilla and I'm in grade 12 in the American International School of Mozambique.